Trump, champion of African Americans, and Kanye gets the last life. Let's talk about it, Middle America. Straight from the you gotta see it to believe it files, Donald J. Trump just did something immensely great for black people. The Root, which is no friend of Donald J. Trump, published this today at turn 36 a.m. In a stunning move, the president does something presidential that actually helps black people. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Donald J. Trump, a uh, white nationalist, supposedly, literally Hitler, has done something great for Trump. The Root continues, a broken clock is right twice a day. And just sometimes, President Trump does something good. On Wednesday, surrounded by some of his most famous blacks, including one pastor with the conch, Trump announced that he was supporting a bipartisan prison reform bill that would give former inmates a second chance at life. We're all better off when former inmates can receive and re-enter society as a law-abiding citizen, said the president. The tentatively named First Step Act was signed by the president, who noted that the bill would make our community safer and give former inmates a second chance at life after they have served their prison time. The Root then goes on to quote the Huffington Post, also no friend of Trump. The First Step Act is designed to help federal inmates rehabilitate for life after prison by expanding their employment opportunities, incentivizing their participation in rehabilitation programs and other me measures. The legislative package was based on a previous version that overwhelmingly passed in the House of Representatives in May. Over the summer, a bipartisan group of senators added provisions that lowered the mandatory minimum sentence for drug-related offenses and reduced the three-strike penalty from a life sentence to 25 years. The criminal justice reform bill has gained support from both liberal and conservative groups, including the American Civil Liberties Union, yes, that would be the ACLU, the Fraternal Order of Police and conservative billionaire the Koch brothers. A lineup of celebrities and public figures also lobbied for the legislation, including Kim Kardashian West, who met with Trump several times at the White House to discuss the prison reform, as well as Kanye West, by the way, who the Huffington Post, at least in this portion of it, um, it uh, failed to note because one of the things that Kanye was talking about with the president in the infamous minstrel show, This Is What Happens When Negroes Don't Read, um, situation, I'm quoting uh, liberal media here. And so Kanye West is what happens when, Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read. One of the main issues that Kanye was bringing up was prison reform. He explicitly said it. And so all the righteous, woke black folk and all the uh, black loving uh, liberals who were mocking Kanye and basically using racial slurs against him uh, it's, uh, were doing nothing. We're throwing stones at Trump from afar and doing nothing to influence the man to do anything for our people. By the way, uh, this is why we do Middle America. L uh, the last episode we did was about police brutality and about the uh, disproportionate amount of times that, the, that law enforcement has been marshaled and weaponized against black people. I had a law enforcement officer, Elio Mike, on with me, and we debated stridently against it. So I call it out when it's happening. Here's the issue, though. The Fraternal Order of Police backed this bill. The Fraternal Order of Police backed this bill. Kudos to the law enforcement community for backing this bill. You know what's interesting? In the debate that I had with Elio Mike, I specifically brought up the three strikes rule, which was initiated by none other than William Jefferson Clinton, a liberal Democrat. Okay, not maybe not liberal, but a Democrat. The Democrats are supposedly the party of black people. The three strikes rule, which post the war on drugs in the 80s, was a veritable next step, which completely destroyed the black community. And uh, uh, my guy... Barack Obama had eight years and didn't get any reform like this done at this degree to reverse that destructive act. Now here we have Donald J. Trump, who's supposedly a racist, supposedly hates black people, uh, aligning with folks like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, who are supposedly uh, cartoon characters and are supposedly ignorant and mentally unstable people, in actually getting something done for black people. Because we know that in the 80s, the war on drugs, and in the 90s, the three, the, the, the three strikes law veritably destroyed 
the black community almost beyond repair. And you know what's interesting, a life sentence to 25 years, a person might say, well, 25 years is a lot. But a lot of these guys that fell in the, in the mid 90s, that fell victim to these three strikes rules, may get their sentence commuted now because it's been about 25 years. So basically what they're trying to do is reverse the deleterious effects that the, that the democratically led three strikes rule um, imposed on the black community. I think this is great. I think this is a win for Trump. I think that um, in the small way that Kanye and his wife and other folks who actually sat down at the table with our president to air their grievances, in a small way this is a demonstration that if we sit and talk to one another, we can actually get things done. When was the last time you've seen the Koch brothers and the ACLU agree on anything? This is the way forward, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta sit down, we gotta talk to each other. Now I know right now, some of you are triggered. Some of you are saying, oh, he's a Trump apologist. Like I said, I just spent about two hours going after the law enforcement and the police department. And you will see in other episodes when Trump does something reckless and silly, we're going after him for that too. But in this moment, for this thing, even the Huffington Post and The Root have to admit he got this one right. And as black folk, we gotta really scratch our chin as to why Donald J. Trump can do this within the first two and a half years of his presidency, but Barack Hussein Obama couldn't do it in eight years of his. Something to think about. Love your neighbor, take care of each other, Middle America with a Venezuela. We are the media. Peace, guys.